Hello there and welcome back. In this episode, I will show you how to create this analog clock using HTML for markup, CSS for styling things like those clock hands, and of course JavaScript for behavior make our clock really works. We start right now. All right, starting real from scratch, all we have is a folder and there is a picture inside of it. This one, the clock. You're gonna have this down below in the description so you can download it, okay? Let's open it up. Okay, and let's create our file structure. Let's create index for markup, style.css for styling, and of course, our app.js for behavior, okay? Let me close this and Let's create a boilerplate here, okay? Hit exclamation mark and hit tab. Open the side by side. You can code on the right and see the results on the left. For the title, let's say something like JavaScript Clock Dark, okay? Don't forget also the link that's gonna connect our CSS to our HTML. Here in the body, let's create our main uh, div clock. And inside this one, you're gonna have the three main ones, okay? This one, the first one for the hour. Let's create one more for the minutes, okay? Down here, I'm using Emmet. You can do manually if you want, okay? The results are the same. And okay, let's go to the last uh, div. This one for the seconds. This one, okay. It's done. And also down below, close to the body, let's have our script that's gonna connect to our JavaScript. All right, let's give it some styling, okay? And in here, let's start with the CSS reset, matching padding zero and box size in the box. And down below here, let's grab the body, okay? And for the layout here, let's choose flex. Justify content and also align items, of course, it's gonna be center. And let's make it full screen with me height 100 gauge. Let's pick also a nice background color for the full body, okay? As you can see on the left, you have it. And now let's go to the clock. Let's give it a size of 350 pixels, okay? Now let's go to the layout. Let's pick flex, okay? Let's put everything in the center with just five content center and the line items also center. Let's pick the picture. Let's use URL clock. PNG, you have the picture, but it's too big right now, so let's change it. Background sizer is gonna be cover, and yeah, now it's the size we want. Let's create a border, let's give it a four pixels, solid, and the same color of the body, okay? And of course, let's make it round with border rate of 50%. Our next step here, we're gonna have make it a neomorphism clock with box shadow. You can pause the video and copy the box shadow info, okay? Or you can go to the, our Facebook page and there you're gonna see our code, okay? It's quite simple. All right, now let's create that point on the, the middle of the clock. I don't know how to say that in English, okay? Uh, content is, you can comment down below in the description the name of that point of the mirror, okay? <laughs> Position, absolute, with 15 pixels and height 15 pixels. I'm gonna call that, that thing, okay? And let's pick a background color. Let's pick this one that is gonna fit with the uh, 
hands hour, okay? And let's give it about a rate of 50%, of, of course, make it round. Oh, yeah. And a Z index of two, so you can see it, okay? Now let's go to the second one, the second thing, I don't know the name. And clock, let's use pseudo class after. Content, nothing. And position here, absolute, okay? Let's give it a size, it's, it's going to be a little smaller, it's just 11 pixels. It's going to be inside the first one. And let's pick a color, it's the same color of the, the second hand, okay? Let's make it also round with body radius 50%. And let's give it a high Z index of 12. Now you can see we have both of them, okay? Let's grab here the clock hour, clock minute, clock minute, and clock second. And let's give a position of absolute, okay? Now let's give size to everything here. Dot clock uh, dot hour dot hr with 160 height of 160. Okay. Now let's pick the minutes clock uh, dot minute mn. Let's give it a width of 190 pixels and a height of also 19 pixels okay you can't see it right now because it is not a background column but you see with our mirrors and our hands okay now let's pick the seconds here let's give a width of 230 pixels and a height also 230 pixels now let's grab the hr mn and also sc okay Let's pick a layout today. It's gonna to be a flex again. Let's put everything in the center with just five content and center. Position here is gonna be absolute and body radius, let's pick 50%, okay? So it's gonna be a round. Now let's go to the full part of this project here. Let's use the soda glass and create our, our hands, okay? Our hands. The first one, position absolute, is our, our hand. Let's give it a width of 7 pixels and also a height of 80 pixels. Okay, we can see because there is no color, so let's pick a color here. Is this one, okay, a nice red color. And let's give a Z index of 10. Now you can see there is a, our hand, but it's very square on the top. Let's fix that with body radius 6 pixels, 6 pixels on the top, 0, 0. Yeah, now it's round at the top. Let's go to the second one. Let's go to the mirrors, okay? Let's use the pseudo class before. Content here is going to be nothing, nothing at all. And position, absolute. The width here is just 5 pixels. And the height, let's say here, 90 pixels. It's taller, it's bigger, okay? Let's pick a color to this one. Let's pick this nice color here. It's not white, but it's nice color. Z index 11, and we still have the same problem. It's square, so let's go with body radius 6 pixels, 6 pixels. You can copy from above if you want, okay? Let's go now to the last one, okay? Let's go to the seconds, okay? Content always here, nothing, all right? Position is going to be absolute. Let's give it a width of 4 pixels. Height is going to be 150 pixels. It's very tall, this one. Background color is going to be that blue one that you choose in the beginning, okay? Z index here is 12. And again, we have the same problem, okay? The top is, is a square. Make it, let's make it a little round with 6 pixels, 6 pixels, and 0, 0. We have a nice and beautiful clock, but it does work until now. We need some JavaScript to give it some behavior and iteration, okay? So let's get started here. Cost DAG 6. Let's grab our 
ID HR and save to available call the same name HR okay now let's grab our MN okay the ID and also save to available MN let's go to the second one for the seconds okay SC and let's grab using query selector uh, SC okay we have all all these four variables so let's use it let's go to the set interval okay let's have this function arrow function here uh, let the new date is gonna grab today's date okay let hh equals day dot get hours time is 30 let mn day dot get minutes let's get the minutes for the day okay and let's multiply for the dagger for six all right let's go to the last one let uh, sc equals day dot get seconds okay and let's also multiply it by dag as you can see all above is six now let's apply this to our our hands okay HR SI transform let's rotate Z okay let's interpolate here uh, HH plus the minutes divided by 12 DAG okay let me save as you can see on the left the hour is, is already working so let's go to the minutes let's follow the same logic okay and here let's have the minutes all right the minutes is, is now working and the last one the second is sc and let's also change it here yeah you have our work our nice clock working if you watch this far i'm sure you like the channel so don't forget to hit that subscribe button see you in the next episode